I tried out for a conservatory recently on jazz flute, and well, it didn't go well. And um, any suggestions on anything like that? Practice? <laughs> When I was going, applying to colleges, I wanted to learn jazz, I mean, I wanted to study jazz on the violin. There were very few options. I would have to ask the heads of the music departments, do you accept a violin? And oftentimes they would just send me back a one-word email, no. Um, one very prestigious school, their answer was more creative. They said, we don't accept voice, vibes, or violin, and that's just the Vs. Um, <laughs> So, I, I mean, we're still kind of drinking out of our own fountain, so to speak. Uh, but the thing is, if you can play the music, the guys who, can, you, know, the guys who you want to be playing with, they will accept you. That's really what it comes down to. Do you think that anyone can learn to improvise? Uh, no, only the chosen people can learn how to <laughs> improvise. <laughs> Of course, anyone can learn how to improvise. I, I wasn't kidding, it really is like a conversation. I mean, it's a matter of becoming comfortable speaking or thinking in this jazz language. When you started playing, did you uh, learn how to read music or did you just start playing? No, I, I didn't learn how to read music. I'm still not a good music reader. It's the thing I fear most when I go to a recording session. Um, you know, if it looks like fly poop on a page, that sort of thing, I, I will have to go into therapy. Um, I've learned because you have to know, you know, but I, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> uh, my mother's very happy when I could get her good seats at shows and things. That's what she, you know, she, it's not so much about the music, it's the perks of being a musician that she loves so much. You know, the meeting of the people, not hearing them, but meeting them. <laughs> I'm being very honest.